The body of a young surfer was pulled from the ocean this morning. Another victim of the illegal dumping of toxic waste materials into the LA sewer system. County health officials have posted warning signs along the beaches, cautioning the public to stay out of the water until this toxic bandit has been apprehended. Here, once again, is that ever-growing list of new closings. Venice Beach, Santa Monica Beach, Zuma Beach. This is Rhonda Rydell reporting live. Now back to you in the studios. Thank you, Rhonda, for that. Pick up! Hey, you love it. Come on, let's I'm have the I'm not answer. in the mood. All right, then, let's try the shrimp Mediterranean. I, I think I think they make it very well here. Remember shrimp been... makes my fingers oh, swell. Come on. Welcome to Villa Caramari. May I take your order, please? I can't make up my mind. Darling, just have a nice green salad. You love green I salad. can't make up my mind. Well, in that case, have some lunch. I can't make up my mind. We are going to need a moment to decide. Let's eat it. Let's just have something simple. Maybe the minestrone. Welcome to Via Camari. May I take your heart, please? I told you, we need a moment to decide. <laughs> That's impressive. Honestly, I've never seen such a thing. <laughs> okay, so are you ready to order now? When we are ready to order, I will... Yeah, bra. Table five wants to order. Thanks, bra. Scusi. Pick up! Pick up! Right, all right, take it easy. There you go. Good luck with that. Uh... Pick up! How's the lasagna? I don't know. Uh, he seems to like it. But I don't think he's had any solid food in weeks. Pick up! Pick up! Pick up! Pick up! Well, then, what would you recommend? Personally, I'd recommend a little Chinese place about two blocks down. Hey, bonehead, when I tell you to pick up, you pick up! Now see what you did! You two! Where'd you go, you sneak? Hello, Frank. What happened to my driver? They sent him home. He had a sore throat. Coming, Frank? I want it stopped. Look, if you're gonna give me your environmental sermon, I've already heard it. If your conscience is bothering you, why don't you go home and separate your bottles and cans? Damn it, Strom. You're killing people and you're using my trucks to do it. And I've made you a very rich man in return, so what is your problem? Maybe my neck is beginning to ache from looking the other way. All right, Hillhurst. What's a visit to the chiropractor gonna cost me? Screw the money. I want it stopped. How are your nephews doing, Frank? Must be rough on those kids. Parents dying in an awful accident like that. Just a tragedy. Lucky they got good old Uncle Frank to take care of them. However, if something should happen to you, you can rest assured that I'll take care of those boys. That's a promise.
Leon. Leon, look at their necks. Here we go again. Their, their necks, necks are out of proportion, proportion with, with the, the rest, rest of their, their body. body. Well, it's true. Your necks are bigger than your heads. Ma, it's only because there are no muscles in our heads to exercise. Yeah? Well, what about your brain? Ma, the brain is not a muscle. It's an organ. And it's a good thing, too. Otherwise, our heads would be so huge, we would fall over. Who would have thought those little tiny babies could grow up so gigantic? Yeah. Exactly alike and completely different. That's what I always used to say. David was always making things, and Peter was always breaking things. Hey, what are you talking about? Oh, oh Peter. Don't worry, Mother. I'll buy you another. <laughs> Peter, you were always the charmer. Why was he always the charmer? Because, honey, you were always the one with the temper. I was not. <laughs> it's like one person in two different bodies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Peter's the brain and David's the heart. So how come you're not at work? We quit. We got fired. Yeah, well, we were going to quit anyway. I can't say as I blame you. The food there tastes like somebody cooked it in a toilet. David, you are such a wonderful cook. You boys should open your own restaurant. Hey, Ma, that's a great idea. Yeah, where are we going to get the money? Easy, you go to a bank. You want us to rob a bank? No, you go to a bank and get a small business loan. David, you'll be the cook. Peter, you can use some of that charm. You'll be the maitre d'. Perfect. <laughs> I'd like to propose a toast to the Falcone Brothers Restaurant. To the Falcone Brothers Restaurant. Yeah. yeah. I'm ready to talk. No, not here. Someplace public. Meet me at Griffith Park tomorrow at noon. What is it that you want the money for? Huh? We want to open up a restaurant. <laughs> I see. And uh, what do you have for collateral? Show! We've got lasagna and a fresh pesto sauce, a nice bow tie pasta with sun dried tomatoes and basil. Mwah. We've got ravioli stuffed with mozzarella and a meat sauce, eggplant a la parmesan, and for dessert, cheesecake. It's usually a lot fluffier, but it was on the bottom of the bag. <clears throat> By collateral, I mean, what kind of capital do you have to secure the loan? Capital, you mean like money? Yes. Hey, if we have money, what would we need a loan for? What about equity? Mm -hmm. Do you own a house? <laughs> Stocks? <laughs> Bonds? <laughs> How about a car? Yeah. yeah! But we're making payments. Oh, so then what you're asking for is an unsecured loan. Right. Well, we don't do that. Now, please pack up your pasta and go. But you didn't even try it yet. Yeah, just taste it. You'll love it. No, I don't want any. <laughs> Come on, open up. No! The train's going in the tunnel. Come on, egg palm, a little egg palm. Oh, Mr. Banker Man! He's going in! Hey, they didn't get enough sauce! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! 
It's a rip, man. It's a total rip. I know. How's a little guy ever supposed to get ahead? They won't give you a loan unless you already got the money. It's totally scatological. No wonder all the banks are going under. There you go. Help yourself to some cheesecake. Of course, you have to pay some heavy fines, forfeit all assets from the illegal activities, maybe even do a little time. Hmm. But in the end, you're going to be glad you called the Justice Department, Frank. You really will. I live long enough to testify. Hmm. Not a problem, Frank. Your security will be insured by the Witness Protection Program. What about my nephews? Well, I assume they'll become custody of the child welfare services and place in a good foster home. No, forget it. I am not going to do that. I'm not going to do that to them. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> then we'll bring security to them. However you want it, Frank, we're willing to work with you. Until Strom is convicted and safely behind bars. What about when he gets out? I wouldn't worry about that, Mr. Hillhurst. If only half these allegations are true, Strom won't be eligible for parole for about... 2,000 years. <laughs> Give me back my ball, dickhead. Ah! You really got away with kids, you know that? Really, nothing to worry about. This is the U.S. government. We do this all the time. I want you to feel safe with me, Frank. Well, the phones have been ringing off the hook. Since this picture of you guys was printed in the paper, wearing a powerhouse gym t-shirt, everyone wants to start training and become a hero. So to show my appreciation, I'm gonna give you guys two months free membership. So that means only only for four months. All right, well, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> my voice is deep as hers. Junior, maybe you should lay off the growth hormone. Why? Uh, excuse me, I want to do the jelly. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're in the back, right over there. Uh, yeah, where it 
David and Peter Falcone? Yeah, what's your name? Uh, well, my name is Thomas Sedgwick. Okay, to Thomas. May all your ups and downs be in bed. Peter Falcone. There you go. Um, excuse me. I, no, I, I don't want your autograph. Wait a minute, gentlemen. You don't understand. I represent Mr. Frank S. Hillhurst. The trucking guy? Yes, the, uh, trucking guy. He was in the park during the altercation. Why well, was he in the park to an alteration? He means the fight. You mean the fight, right? You're right. He means the fight. Oh, the fight, right. Well, he is very pleased with your services and would like to invite you to his estate so he may thank you personally. Okay, why not? Thanks, Thomas. Yeah, thanks, Thomas. Here. Is that a supercut? All right, let him through. Okay, all clear. Go ahead. Peace, my bye, bye Hey, check out some extensions. You got here, Thomas. How much you paying rent? Please don't touch that. It's over 200 years old. Jeez, with all this money, you think the guy could afford new plates? This way, gentlemen. David and Peter Falcone. Oh, I'm so happy you could come. I'm Frank Hillhurst. David. Peter. Uh, please, sit down. Sit down. Uh, this is Mr. Bennett. Thomas, would you bring us some tea, please? I really appreciate what you did in the park. Not many people these days would step in to help somebody else. And I'm very grateful to both of you. No problem. So those guys were after you, huh? Ah, oh, that's not really any of your business. The hell it isn't. These guys risk their lives. They've got a right to know. The men in the park were hired assassins. They were sent to stop me from testifying against an organized crime boss. And if it wasn't for your help, they would have succeeded. You boys really did a job on those hoods. Where did you learn to handle yourselves like that? In the military? Nah, we were fat kids. Fat kids either got to learn how to fight or learn how to hurt. We got tired of hurting. David? Peter, I want to offer you a job. I have to go out of town tomorrow for a preliminary hearing, and I'd like you to stay here and look after my nephews. I'll only be gone a week, but I'll pay you $2,500 a day. Each. You pay us $5,000 a day to babysit? 
for a week? That's 35,000 bucks. Mr. Hillhurst, we have already been through all this. My people will provide security for your nephews. Bennett, I haven't seen your people do squat. I know what these guys can do. So what do you say? Will you take the job? We'll take it. I've been taking care of the boys ever since my brother and his wife died in an accident six months ago. Pretty tough on the kids, huh? Now, Stephen, he's the shy one. He took it a little harder, but, but Bradley, Bradley, on the other hand, Bradley is obstreperous. Gee, I hope it ain't catch it. You'll have to excuse my brother. He needs electrocution lessons. I'm anxious for you to meet the boys. I just know you're going to get on so well together. Bradley, Stephen, would you come up here a second? Yes, Uncle Frank? Come on. Don't be shy. Let me introduce her. This is Bradley, and this is Stephen. Boys, this is Peter and David Falcone. They're going to be staying with you for a few days. Yo, who are the babysitters? Hotel in Suite 1410, under the name Renswick. Excellent. Maybe I should call the front desk and tell him Mr. Renswick will be checking out early. Oh, and security's been increased. Hillhurst has hired those two men from the park to look after his nephews. Listen, if we can't get to Hillhurst before he rolls over, you know what to do. People will patrol the grounds and perimeter of the estate. As a security precaution, we ask that you remain confined to the premises. In other words, don't leave. All right, I'll be checking in with you every day by phone. If there's an emergency, Thomas knows where to reach me. Anything else you need will be provided by the staff. Don't worry about a thing, Mr. Hillers. Everything will be cool. The police won't hold the streets all day. Over them. They're the only family that I have. You can count on us, Mr. Hillhurst. Yeah, we'll take good care of them. Trifle, trifle, but it will do. Oh, indubitably. Indubitably. After you. No, no, after you. No, no, I insist. Very well, if you insist. you take this cleanser and go out there and see if you can get some of that goat's blood up off the patio. Oh, great. This 
was my best ripped up shirt, man. Now it's ruined. Relax, man. They're just little kids. Mm, little monsters more like it. Especially that Bradley. He's the evil twin. I wouldn't want to be standing on a ladder with him holding it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's like our karma catching up with us, you know? Remember what we used to do to our babysitters? Unspeakable atrocities! <laughs> we could be in serious trouble. Hold up, man. Don't forget these kids are orphans. They're trying to push people away because they think if they ever get close to anyone, they'll abandon them. Ain't that a diaper full of shit. Seriously, all we've got to do to win them over is show them that they can trust us. Yeah, how do we do that? Remember what Mama always said? The weight on man's stomach is true as mouth. And my special secret to making a bolognese sauce is to add a little shot of Dr. Pepper. Now, Penny, try that. That is delicious, David. Of course. Yeah, but I'm afraid you're gonna waste your whole afternoon because all those children ever eat is peanut butter and bologna. Well, it's no wonder they're so hostile. The kids are starving. Thomas, what are you doing standing behind the door? It's okay, Tom, leave it. Why don't you go get the kids and bring it to the table? Welcome to the Falcone Brothers restaurant. There you go. There's a lot more where that came from. Bradley, you want to say grace? Okay, Stephen, what about you? It's okay, I will. Bless this food on our plate. That is all, because I can't wait. Amen. Amen. What's the matter? Why aren't you kids eating? We don't want this. We want peanut butter and bologna. Mmm. Well, try this. This is better. No. Just try it. It's delicious. You'll like it. No. Come on. I've been sleeping my tits over a hot stove all afternoon. Now, come on. Eat it. Maybe you don't get it, musclehead. Happy thoughts. It's not a problem. I'll clean it up. children. I don't know, probably upstairs tearing the heads off dolls. They sure are quiet. Yeah, maybe too quiet. Oh my God. I think I'm really sick. It's probably your cooking. <laughs> What's the matter with you scaring a person like that? You could have given us a coronation. 
teaching us something. Yeah, that wasn't funny. Oh, yes, it was. You should have seen your faces. Ha, 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 ha. I'll show you how funny it is. Come on, Dave. It was just a joke. <laughs> might stop payment on the check. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe those guys are so stupid? You could have given us a coronation. Yeah, like, what are they anyway? Oh, no, they're like some kind of cloning experiment that went horribly wrong. Just wait until they see what we have planned for them tomorrow. I don't know, Brad. Maybe we should let up. No, no mercy. But Uncle Frank really likes these guys. He's gonna get really mad. What do we care about Uncle Frank? He doesn't care about us. Nobody cares about us. We're the only ones we can count on. So we have to stick together, right? Right? No mercy. No mercy. This is Zulu-1. Check positions. 2,400 hours. Patio clear. Pool area. All clear. Balcony clear. Garage clear. It's the lunch and dinner. There you go, steak and eggs. Peter, will you say grace? Grace! Let's eat. We won't eat this. Did you say something? I said we won't eat this. Excuse. Don't worry, I'll clean it up. Whoa! Thanks, Lolita. And Peter! Peter, look, I fixed the hole in your butt. Mucus gracias. <laughs> You're welcome. Why don't you try them on? 
Help! He fell in the swimming pool! So? He can't swim! Hillhurst, I hope you don't mind, but I've taken the liberty of inviting a few people over to hear your deposition. This is William Kelsey with the State Department, Jack Carmichael from the FBI, Lawrence Schmidt with the CIA, Jim Rodriguez from the DEA, Roy Hartley with the ATF, and Phyllis Hector from the EPA. We're gonna put our heel down on this guy, Strom, and turn. <clears throat> Jack, sorry, man. Do you swear that what you're about to say is the truth, sir? You got? Yes. He sworn in. Okay. Let's start at the beginning. How did you first meet Leland Strong? of oil had skyrocketed and the trucking industry was suffering and, and my business was failing. And Strom offered me a way out. I never saw so much money. First month alone, we took in a little over $15 million. So you sold your soul to the devil. He didn't sell it, Jack, otherwise he wouldn't be here. He just rented it, didn't he, Frank? More coffee? residence. Thomas, it's me. The children all right. Oh, Mr. Hillhurst, I'm so relieved to hear from you. Sir, you have no idea what's been going on hey, here. Is that Mr. Hillhurst? Let me talk to him. Oh. Ah! Oh, yeah. oh. Hey, Thomas, keep it down, will you? I'm on the phone here. Hey, Miss H, it's Peter, Peter, Pumpkin Eater. How's it going? Peter, are the boys all right? Sure, the boys are just fine. Oh, boys, say hello to your Uncle Frank. I know they really want to talk to you, but they're uh, tied up right now. Listen, Mr. H, everything on the home front is antiseptic, so you go out and have yourself some fun, okay? All righty, peace. Well, what do you want to do with them? I don't know. We can bury them in the backyard until their uncle gets home. But this place is so big, we might forget where we dug the hole. What in the world is going on here? Uh-oh. Who are you? I'm the children's teacher. Who are you? We're the babysitters. And this is your idea of child care? Tying up 10-year-olds? Hey, we're just playing around. No, we didn't. They tried to kill us. Yeah. You two bullies ought to be ashamed of yourselves, scaring defenseless children. All right. Past participles end in. 
D, E, D, N, E, N, and T. Steven, pay attention. Okay, now who can tell me how present participles end? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. I know that one, I know that one. Yes? Present participles end in I-N-G. That's correct. All right! Okay, I'll take participles for a thousand. Let me do one. Hey, wait, let me do one. Please, please. All right, all right. Um, what's a dangling participle? Uh, is that like when you run out of toilet paper? <sighs> There's never a drive-by shooting when you need one. The shark's head was out of water and his back was coming out. The old man could hear the noise of the skin and flesh ripping on the big fish when he rammed the harpoon down onto the shark's head. That was the location of the brain, and the old man hit it. <laughs> he hit it with his blood-mushed hands. I think that's enough Hemingway for today. Uh. Class dismissed. Here you are. There you go. What's the big idea? What? Where's our food? Oh, well, since you never eat anything, just figured you weren't hungry. Sorry, we didn't make you none. Hey, David, stop teasing him. You just want something to eat? There's more spaghetti in the kitchen. We don't want spaghetti. We want peanut butter and bologna. Yeah? Well, too bad, because spaghetti's all he's going to get. Want to bet? You just want some Parmesan. Get out of the way! Game's over. No, it's not. Time for your bath. We don't want to take a bath. Come on, Brian, it's okay. No, it's not okay. We don't want to take a bath, and you can't make us. Want to bet? Whoa! Go ahead. Go it in. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Sniffers, they're not gonna get away with it. Forget it, man. They're too big. We can't win. Yes, we can. Come on, we're getting out of here. You mean run away? That's right, nobody's gonna push us around anymore. We can't run away. What about Uncle Frank? Hey, man, don't you get it? He doesn't want us. He left us. Just like Mom and Dad. Now I'm out of here. So are you with me or not? They're like little angels. Yeah, little hell's angels. <laughs> Thomas, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. You're so quiet, I'll have to put a bell around your neck like a cat.
What's up, fellas? Look, I could care less if you want to run away. But you know, it would really hurt your Uncle Frank. He really cares about you guys. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. I could see it in the man's eyes. He loves you two so much that when he left there, he was almost bawling. He was? Yes, he was. Hey, if he didn't love you guys, would he have hired us to look after you? My point exactly. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. No, I'm tired of following you. What's your problem? You! You almost got us killed! No, they almost got us killed. It was your stupid idea that got us there in the first place. You're always ordering me around and telling me what to do. Well, I hate peanut butter and bologna. Stop being such a big baby. Stop telling me what to do. I'm sick and tired of you pushing me around. Oh, yeah? Well, what you gonna do about it? I think we should stop it. Nah, let them work it out between themselves. Interrogative pronouns pose questions. Who? Whom? Which, whose, and what happened to you? We fell. Do you two know anything about this? No, no Miss Newman. Newman. Here, I did this report on Hemingway for extra credit. Thank you, David. You're welcome. Shut up. Miss Newman, I have a question. Yes, Peter? Will you go out with me? Wait a second, I asked her first. You did not. I did too. You did not. I did too. Miss Newman, read my report. Uh, the old man in the sea is about an old man in the sea. No, no, the end of it. P.S. Will you go out with me? No fear, you copied that on the encyclopedia. What are you incinerating? You cheated. I did not. You did so. I did not. You did so. I did not. You did so. <laughs> Themselves. 
Lizzie Thomas. Uh-uh, not in my kitchen, you don't. Both of you. Do we have to go? Do we have to go? Come on, you'll have a good time. It'll be fun. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? We're going on a date. With the children? Nah, we'll miss Newman. Come on, let's go. Well, but, but you're not supposed to leave the grounds. Thomas, you're a butler. Butt out! Security! Security! Elevator going up. Man, even their car's on steroids. What's the matter? You never seen a muscle truck before? Okay, everybody, fasten the seat belts. Except you, Brad. You don't have to wear one. Here come the adults. I'm sorry. I can't let you leave the property on government orders. So what do you think, kids? I can't believe it. I have never seen them this worn out before. Riding on a roller coaster for three hours will do that to you. <laughs> I think they're faking. Hey, Brad. You better have a license to sell hot dogs because your fly is open. What do you know? They really are asleep. They're amazing. I've seen them look at each other and have a conversation without even saying a word. Sometimes we even have the same dream. I envy you guys. You're so special. You were born with a best friend. I always wanted to have a twin sister. We really had a good time, Miss Newman. Yeah, we really had a good time, Miss Newman. Since we're not in class, it's all right if you call me Judy. Okay, Judy. I mean... <clears throat> okay, Judy. 
Well, good night. Turn around. Hmm. Couldn't put the kiss on Ilhurst. Too many feds. We can't get within a mile of the guy. Well, that's why it's important to always have a backup plan. Kill his residence? Yes. When? Yes, I understand. I'll make sure of it. Whether you like it or not. Hey, this is pretty decent. Thank you, Steven. I'm Brad. That's Steve. Yo, when you stop acting like a little chowder head, it's hard to tell you apart. <laughs> hey, what do you always dress the light for anyway? What's wrong with the way we dress? Hey, now, don't misconstrue me. But you guys look like a mad set of geeks. What do you think, Dave? I think it's time for a new image. <laughs>
residence? Oh, yes, Mr. Hillhurst. They're outside. Just a moment, I'll get them. I just called to say hello. Okay, bye. Ah! Frank? Yeah? It's Brad. I'm sorry I've been acting like such a chowder head. That's okay, Brad. Uncle Frank? Thanks. Everything all right? Yeah, I'm just a little, a little tired, that's all. We've almost finished. I've just got a few more questions. Afternoon. Hey, everything all right? Just fine. Have a nice day. Not. hard to get good help these days. Hey, Brad, what's taking so... Help! 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 Jeez, doesn't that kid ever give up? Ow! Help! Help, help! Quit screwing around and bring me some lemonade.
too tight. Biggest money, even more than the drugs, comes from dumping. Costs millions of dollars to legally dispose of chemical toxins. Well, for only a couple of hundred thousand, you can have a truck haul it away in the middle of the night. Yeah? Oh, my God. Frank, it's the kids. But we'll let you know as soon as we hear something. Yeah. Okay. That's good news. Okay, yeah. Penny's gonna be okay. Everyone else is all right. Dave, we gotta call the cops, man. No, your nurse told us not to do anything. Why won't he tell us where he's meeting them? It's a setup, man. They're gonna kill all of them. Well, I'd give all the money in the world to know where those kids are. Oh, my goodness, you startled me. Going somewhere? Yes, well, 
after the unsavory experience of the children's abduction and my own personal trauma at being accosted, I decided it would be best if I seek employment elsewhere. Like a rat on a sinking ship, huh? I'll have you know I was very, very fond of the children, and I'm going to miss them. You don't want to forget this. Yes. Well, goodbye. Here, let me help you with that. No, I'll get it. Don't tell me cash for cans or cash for kids. Those kids are my friends. Nobody messes with my friends. No, please, I don't know where they are. I swear I'm telling the truth. Let's give them a lie detector test. Now, where are they? I don't know. Ah! Lion. Where? I don't know! Ah! No! He's still lying. <laughs> this is your last chance. Now, do you want to tell me where the kids are? I told you. I don't know. Okay, Dave, pop the clutch. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. <laughs> Long Beach Harbor, Dock 5. You still lying to me? No, I swear. Hillis is supposed to be there at midnight. Okay, I believe you. Long Beach Harbor, Dock 5. And we're outnumbered. Other than that, we're in good shape. Yeah, we're gonna need some help. Let's call them the Alims and the Tigers. $50? What a chunk. You son of a... What's happening? You're the pretty one. No, no. 
You're the pretty one. I'm the smart one. No, I'm the smart one. You're the pretty one. No, I'm the smart one, but you're the cute one. Yeah, well, okay, what the hell? I'll be both. Come any closer, I'll kill him. I will. Drop the guns. Do it! Now kick him over here. I've been waiting to do this all night. to do that all night. My turn. My turn. Not twins? Ah, uh, we just all look alike. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, it's a twin thing, man. <laughs> Very amusing. You beat my men, but not me. It's over, Dickweed. You lose. I never lose. I always have a backup plan. Uh. Maybe you know her. Maybe, uh, after I'm off the ship. You're a dead man walking. Officially, yes. Uh, I died along with the rest of you. Uh, bon voyage. Uh, Rob! Uh, uh, Uncle Frank! Uh, Out of the way, Frank. No. All right. Have it your way. No! Uh, uh. Time to go. I knew you boys could do it. Yeah, but we owe it all to Mr. Hillhurst. Say, Frank, how does it feel to be one of the poor but honest people? <laughs> right now, I'm feeling pretty rich. <laughs> come on, come on, everybody, eat, eat. Manja, manja. Oh, and Judy, remember, we've got a date tonight. And remember, we have a date tomorrow night. 
I remember. I remember. You know, there's one thing I don't understand. The government froze all my assets, so my check to you wasn't any good. Duh, tell me about it. So where'd you get all the money to open the restaurant? Yeah. Thomas gave us a loan. Jeez, that must have cost him an arm and a leg. Almost. Almost. <laughs> <laughs>